I get curious as to like, I remember I was working at a restaurant. They had a bus boy there mm -hmm. that was an older guy mm -hmm. and he was doing steroids and it, uh, and so we would go to the gym together and next thing you know, it was just like something we did, right? you know, and, um, and he was older than me, this guy. So sometimes I went looking back, I wonder would I have done it if it wasn't like an older person, if it had just been a buddy, I don't think too much on it, but sometimes I just like to look back at like, you know, where was like the influence coming from or was the influence coming from inside of me, like wanting something um, different or wanting a different experience, you know, right. wanting to like put anything into myself right. to replace something inside of me that was missing, you right. know? Yeah, <laughs> which is a story of our lives. Totally, right, right. I mean, which, I'm which chasing, later in life I'm I can relate to. chasing something that's already inside of me, Yeah, but I'm looking for external answers or external yeah. things to fill that void, oh, but totally. really the answer is inside of me. Right, yeah. but it doesn't feel like it is because no. it feels like there's nothing inside but of me. Once you get sober, clear-headed, and kind of can start reflecting on life as you get older, yeah. you, that's when, at least for me, my experience is I start to see I was like the dog chasing my tail. Yeah. Looking for this, looking for that. And it's like the whole answer is like with me the whole time. Yeah. It's just like, stop, take a look, slow down, you know, breathe. And yeah. But the catalyst for the actual steroid taking was I couldn't bench 315 because that's three big plates on each side. Ooh, yeah. And, but I could do 295 for like five reps, but I couldn't do 315 for one. So it was like a psychological block. And I got on like some really light steroids. And like within two weeks, I was like at three benching like 325 damn so i was like oh, they definitely were well we got on some vietnamese shit one time i don't even think it helped me lift it helped me cook it definitely helped me like i could run a walk dude i'm not even joking i could cook over a fire suddenly in my yard but i could not fucking do it because we got some gutter steroids that came through man like we got like bottom yeah. of the barrel not, stuff. was it like top of it taped closed I mean, yeah it was like, it's like risky. it wasn't even sealed and stuff Bro, i remember one time we all went to mexico on a class trip uh -huh. so we came back literally people would buy steroids and then put them in shampoo bottles just kind of rinse them out them. a little no and oh. just pour it in there oh my so god so then for like people are just pulling up at this dude's house and just syringing out of this unreal. you know head and shoulders unreal you know and that's it i mean it got you it <laughs> not, got you both of those not quite pharmaceutical <laughs> no, grade no, no. <laughs> holy but, smokes but yeah we had some of the cleanest yeah. muscles in town right? i will say that <laughs> well you're willing to go to any lengths right oh totally that's man. the question that it's like i really was yeah and so was i and i am today too in in certain areas of my life yeah. but it was like i'm gonna do whatever i gotta do to be the best player I can be within re like within the rules. Right. But steroids were breaking the rules. So those were within the rules of the time. No, no, they were breaking the rules. Oh, they were. Yeah, they were. So, and so I, there was a day where I had to make a conscious decision. It's like, I'm not going to kill it. I'm not going to sit here and lie to myself because I wasn't like hooked on pain girlers. I wasn't drinking alcoholically or nothing like that at that time. I was like, is it worth it? Mm. And, and it was, and it, I, it was, yeah. I mean, yeah. looking back oh, at totally. everything, and, and you know what? It was worth it, and the least amount of that worth it is monetary. Even though it made mil it, it helped me make millions of dollars, right? The, least, the greatest worth and value in that are the lessons learned in life from taking them. But at the time, you didn't know that, though. No. Right. But I had to make a conscious decision on, will I ever look back and regret and say, like, what could I have been? Ah. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'm going to go to any lengths. Plus, and this is not to like, I'm not like blaming anybody, but the atmosphere was like, you know, the end of the 70s, it happened. So this was 1983, 84. So who won four championships in the NFL in the 70s? Steelers, right? Oh, I thought it was maybe Packers. Steel, no, they oh, had the Steelers, ones that, that's right. I remember, they won two in a row. Or, was and that then, with Bradshaw? Yeah, yeah, and all those guys. And they're like, you know. Jerry Olshansky was out there? I don't know him, but. But Webster and uh, Steve Corson, and all these old linemen, they were, I mean, all jacked up, right? And it was obvious. Yeah. And I was like, in my head, and, and my brother kind of felt the same way, was like the only road to the NFL is through steroids. Oh, interesting. Or, or at least it's a spoke in the wheel. Yeah. And especially, I think, as a white guy, you got to get, get on something, you know? For what? I mean, just, no, just, oh, I think, <laughs> no, you just got to get... If I'm a white guy, I'm getting on steroids due to play anything. Listen, can you imagine if you if someone had a drug for that? Yeah. Oh man. Uh, um, how rich they'd be? Oh uh, yeah. The penis bigger? <laughs> well, hell, we sell them half of our ads. For that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I remember one thing that got me. 
I remember about, and it, I'm just, we haven't had anybody in here. I don't think that's ever, that has ever done steroids that I knew of. So it's like, it's just, for me, it's interesting to talk about because mm -hmm. we talk about it on the podcast yeah. sometimes over the years. And um, so I remember being in class one day and some kid, there was a new kid in class and he thought I was going through the hall, the, the aisles, picking up people's papers or something for the right, teacher. Right. And he thought I was the teacher's husband. And I think because I'd been doing, I was suddenly oh, like stronger. Up. And yeah, 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 I yeah. just looked stronger. Right. And, you know, and I just, the, you know, at that time, the thought that somebody would, would, you know, that I would be married to somebody that knew, first of all, that even knew mathematics as well as this lady did. You know, like it almost <laughs> just was flattering. You know, right, like, holy right, shit. Right. Dude, you think that's my wife? That's pretty I cool. I the older women. Yeah, right. She drove here. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, this is a real lady over there. Um, but I just remember that one moment that's like, I don't know. I just felt like people saw me. I just felt more confident. I felt stronger. My, I just, and right, right then, man, those feelings were feelings that I never had. Right. Are they good or what? Oh, right. Bro, they were so good. Right. They were so good. And then, uh, but you also did the work. You also worked out, right? Oh, I was, we, we worked out all the right. time and I, you know, dieted properly. Yeah. And I, you know, you would get on milk, thistle and all these yeah, yeah, bootleg yeah, yeah. things you would yeah. hear about to yeah. kind of take care of yourself. Um, but it was definitely like, it was interesting how I went from, if you'd have asked me two weeks before, would you ever do steroids? I'd have said, no way. Right. But then suddenly I was over a line. Right. And for me in a lot of my areas of life, that, that, that became something sometimes I really don't want to look at the truth that there's a lot of lines that I've crossed in my life that I probably wish I hadn't. You know, I remember thinking, oh, I'll never hook up with a married woman, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and then cross that line. Just right, like right, right. Things, things that like, like where you're saying like setting kind of boundaries or wh wh who you are and things that you do, will right. and won't do. Right. I had those things, but I always went past them you and then them, yeah. would live and still probably live with a ton cool. of the shame from a lot of it. Good evening, good afternoon, and other times. Thanks for watching that video you just saw. I mean, it was okay. But the next video you could watch could be way better. What if you watch a video right now that changes your life? Well, you could watch this one or watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Ah!